Howdy, y'all. Welcome back to Call of the Wild. As you can see, we're not back on Parquet, and we're not back on Leighton, either. We're on Hirschfelden, the European rabbits. Uh, the hotfixes have been released, and I have yet to stake out or showcase any of the rabbits, because, quite frankly, I haven't found any warrens or burrows or whichever you prefer to call them. There's none on my map because I haven't sought them out. I played a little bit of uh, my map on PlayStation, my Hirschfelden map on PlayStation with Nathan. This was before the hotfix for consoles were released. And I may or may not have shot up a couple warrens. So I don't get me wrong, I know where they are, but that's console. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do for now. We're gonna go see if I can find some warrens around here and hopefully we'll get us some European rabbits for the lodge. From what I can tell, rabbits like grassy, flat land. Rabbits like grassy, flat land, at least, um, from what I've noticed. So that's what I'll be on the lookout for. Um, I can't 100% promise that I have all of the locations like everyone's got, because everyone's map is different, but the warrens that are there are going to be in the same spots, if you have them. So, let's see what all's down here. So ironically, in a place where I've already killed a bunch of animals, more than likely, there's going to be warrens, burrows, I would say, because it's very wide open and grassy. Um, it'd be kind of easy to spot, but of course I had to fucking kill a bunch of fallow deer up through here, and roe deer up through here a long time ago, and saturate the whole spot. Oh, there's the warrens, and there's a fallow deer. So that's great. That being said, are they going to be out and around there? Maybe they're just too small for me to see? I don't want to kill that fallow deer, but I do want to kill some of those rabbits if they're down here. I'm going to have to mark this location to check next time I play with Nathan as well, because I'm 100% positive we do not have this burrow located. It unfortunately does not look like anyone's going to come- oh! I lied, so there, a couple of them did come out and play. I'm gonna see how far away they are one more time. About 133, so I only have to aim my scope just a little bit above. Well, if I can get that one to stay still, maybe. Oh, wait, I got it. That was a little late, but I got it. Ooh, there's all kinds of them now. Holy crap. You shoot one and all of them come out. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm never good with the 22. My accuracy is usually ass with the 22, but I'm just popping them. How are we looking? Okay. Well, in that case, I'm just going to go and mark the burrows. Ooh, this one was gold. I'll keep it. Investigate burrow used very recently, and this location, you can see that little EB sliver of an indicator. Um, there's an outpost right here, the Rathenfeld outpost. It's just right below that. Can't miss it. That's where I found this at. That was a silver. I will not accept. Silver, I will not accept. I had four. Where is the fourth? Where is the four? Oh, there it is. 130. I will absolutely take that. That's awesome. Okay. And, like I said, this is right here. Right below the Rathenfeld outpost. As you can see, I have not uncovered most, if not all, of the map. So this is going to be a tough ride trying to figure out where everything is but I'm just letting you know there's one right there let's check right here if we possibly can that's a long way to run but that's what we're gonna do next well this is grassy and flat oh whoa what are you oh shit I want you please yeah well, if there are any rabbits in this area, they're definitely hiding. Oh, Hello. I 
I think I will absolutely keep you. Why do the roe deer sound exactly like that video of the baby smeared in peanut butter? <laughs> Does it feel good? Ah. Yeah. It's a big one. Do they just up and disappear? Okay, that's... Oh, she's stuck, I think. She can't get back into the... Yeah, she can't get back into the warren. Well, I found one! Used very recently. And... Oh! Hello! Big boy! I'll save. And... This burrow is in this location. Way to the left of Rathenfeld Outpost, right there. I'm giving you guys honest locations, even if you guys may not have the same one as I do, but that's the thing. You may never know what you have, and that's why I'm giving honest locations. Oh, I see that fox out there. There ain't no way I'll be able to snipe it from here, though. Oh, I just saw you freaking heifer. There you are. Turn sideways. Turn sideways. That was a very shitty shot. Whoa, did I hit it that time? Not good enough. Oh well, it'll die. I also think it's very unique that they that they're using the concept of burrowing or, you know, the Warrens, whichever they call it. Um, I enjoy that they're using that concept instead of the need zones. Because those, those burrows will not go away. They won't move. So I think it's a very interesting concept. It's one they definitely haven't explored in the past. Another thing I wanted to talk about, at least while I have the moment to do so while I'm relocating, is um, all the sneak peeks and the teasers and this countdown that Call of the Wild's doing the devs over at Avalanche Studios and all of all of this stuff that's going on. I honestly have no idea what Avalanche Studios, Expansive Worlds, whichever. I don't know what they have in store. I'm just as confused as everyone else is. I don't have any hot takes or nuanced takes on what the next map will be or what this teaser means. But whatever it is, I'm ready and, you know, I'm ready for them to announce it. I'm so excited to see what's coming next. I don't know how they can top Silver Ridge Peaks at this point. But if I had to take a guess, if I absolutely genuinely had to have a guess for what the next map would be, I would hope that it's a Southern African map, maybe? A South African map? I would hope that it would be a South Africa map. Or maybe New Zealand. Everyone has been saying Australia, New Zealand. But I would really hope for South Africa. Um, New Zealand. I would even hope for an Asian map. I would love to see like an like an Eastern Asian map. That would be awesome. But at the same time, I would also like to see an Egyptian map. I would like to see a map taking place in Egypt. The possibilities are endless, and there are so many different unique animals across the globe. It would be very, very unique to be able to have the same variety we do on, in this game that we have in the Hunter Classic. Which, if you don't know, the Hunter Classic has tons more, um, tons more map, tons more availability than, oh, that's a pig. Tons more availability than Call of the Wild does. Those are lots of pigs. Oh my gosh. Damn. Well, are they, is that, it is, those are Warrens over there. Hell yeah. And here I was going to go 400 more yards. I miss fuck. Well, shit. I should have waited for them to stop moving. But, I'm going to go ahead and not only take this need zone, but I'm going to get them warrants too. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, I'll get, I'll, 
up shit. Those were the only two out, I think. And this guy... Oh, he's a 1.8. I won't be taking him home with me, unfortunately. But I will investigate his home. And that location is right here. Way to the left of the Rathenfell outpost, there are... Or, are, Jesus Christ. There is an outpost down here. You can go to that and make your way to the right. But that is another one. I was going to head south of that. But... I'm glad I didn't. Oh, there's a fallow deer out here. I might as well get prepared. Because if another big one walks out in front of me like that other four did, then it's gone. But yeah, I'm very, very excited to see what the next map will be or where it will be located. All the animals will get to sample next. Call of the Wild is one of the most unique games that I've played in a while. In that... There's such a variety to pick from, and I think that's wonderful. Variety is awesome, especially for a game of this kind. And the fact that it looks so nice, runs so nice, and you have that much variety, it, is, it makes it a very fun game to play. Um, I'm addicted, and I have been for years, and I don't see that slowing down anytime soon. There's those pigs that we saw before we saw the rabbits. Not interested in them. I've had my fill of bacon. That's a big pig. Holy crap, that is a big pig. 410 pounds. It's almost enough to make a man turn around and go get some. I'm so damn sick and tired of roe deer. I think roe deer are the worst. They are so ugly, bro. Like, sorry, not sorry. They're some of the ugliest deer that I've seen on this planet. And I mean, the models look great. Don't get me wrong, I'm not shitting on EW or Avalanche Studios or anything. Like, the models are honestly spot on. The species of deer itself, the roe deer, is just disgusting to look at. It makes my eyes want to vomit and my stomach want to kill itself. Every time I think about roe deer, my acne breaks out, my hair turns gray and starts to fall out. My hairline goes back a couple inches. I'm, it's just not, it's not a good feeling. I remember back in the day when I played with Nathan um, a lot more often than we do now. When I was first starting out, my first, the first encounter I ever had with a red deer, a giant red deer, was before the True Rack Red Deer was released. It was on this map. And we hyped it up and hyped it up and hyped it up and we stalked this red deer and it was, it seemed endless. It was like 30 minutes just staring this red deer in the face. And we've, I can't remember if he or I shot it, but the, the thing was huge. It was, it, I can't remember what, ooh. oh, it's a female. Oh, no, it's not. It's a fallow deer. Damn it. Ah, but there's a bunch of roe deer with it. Um, it was a humongous red deer for what it's worth, especially given that it was pre-true rack. It was massive. Once upon a time, I think I had footage of that, but I don't know where it is now. Oh, do you think I could hit that? I know I just saw him, but it's tempting. Whoa. Did I... I knocked him out. Did I use it? I did. I used the right gun. I knocked him out. I'll, um... I'll have to go back for that. Now I really regret shooting it because if there are any rabbits in this area they will have already ran and hid but at, at, I guess at this point it's more so about finding the warrens and coming back to them later and less about really taking care of the rabbits I was told there were burrows out through here but when I was on my PlayStation I couldn't find them for the life of me so maybe they're here this time I think it was this location. Yep, it sure was. It was it was somewhere like right in here, kind of. Oh. It is this area they were talking about. Maybe I just didn't have it on my PlayStation map. I didn't because I see them now. Oh my goodness gracious! Here we go. Yeah. Two little girl bunnies. Oh, it'd be a little baby rabbit. 
And this is in, you see that right there? There's an outpost right here. So you can spawn at that and then come up little ways and it should be right here. No, I did not have this burrow on my PlayStation, but it's here on my PC. So I guess, you know, this is a lot different than I thought it would be. I automatically assume there's going to be a crap ton of burrows automatically placed in everyone's servers and everyone will have the same places, the same spawns, everything. It's not true. So that's a very interesting development. But it's also very weird because the burrows that Nate and I found were in the same exact spots on each other's maps. Like we went to the same three burrows. I went to my three, and that's how I found them, I found them manually, I found three burrows on mine and they were in the same location on his, and I helped him find his, but it's the only three that I could find. I wonder if those same three will be on my map. Oh my god, I'm getting ready to just... Get out of here, go. Get out of here. Jesus Christ. Oh. Hello. That's a pretty good shot from 250 yards. What is that out there? Oh my god, it's that bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, I hit her. Oops. Lodly ho, neighborino. I wonder if there are any rabbits out they'll stomp at me and I'll get down. That's another thing I've noticed. Sometimes when you come up on the burrows, like, there will not be any rabbits on them or around them. Which is, I guess, fine. I'm not really complaining. Used recently. I guess to give it some variety, which is great. But this is right here. There's an outpost, I think, somewhere up here. I think it's right there. That's there as well. That is the biggest track for a pig that I have seen ever. Oh, man. That's gonna suck. God, I don't have the time. I so would if I had the time, but I don't. You know, I heard about... Oh, burrows potentially being over here. Only one way to find out. Are those? They are! I knew it! Used recently. They're just not coming out to play, are they? But this one is in this location. There's a outpost right here. Teleport and just go right to it. It's right here above this lake. And there's another one right here across from the lake. Two hours later. Well, I was wrong about that outpost. There is an outpost somewhere in this area, though. Them look like burrows to y'all. Yes, sirree. Used recently. So they're not out right now, but they do go here. And these burrows are in this area behind the barn right here. Windmills? Where you see windmills at? Am I fucking blind? Because I don't see no windmills. Bitches. Oh. Well, now I'm the fool. I'm the bitches. Three days later. One eternity later. I spent too damn long walking, sitting in silence, so I'm gonna bring up something not Call of the Wild related. Y'all know how fucking pointless it is for Nintendo to be mad at people for emulating their games in 2020? Like, you, you, oh, I can't cross here. Like, you bring up in any way, oh, well, I, pl I played XYZ, this old game, on my computer, or, you know, for example, hey, we're gonna be holding this tournament and using a mod that makes it you know things easier or makes things interesting we're gonna be hosting this tournament that you know impacts the game in some way to make things in the tournament either easier or to make things in the tournament more interesting whatever it may be I don't know anything about the slippy mod I'm talking about this house tournament thing that was canceled by Nintendo because they were emulating their smash game I think that's crap I think that's garbage Nintendo 
issued a cease and desist order because they didn't want people emulating their games on a computer which is it's such a ridiculous notion Nintendo be like yeah we love when you play our games but on the old outdated consoles that you used to play them on like Nintendo wants you to is that a herd? No. Nintendo really wants you to go out there and buy a whole Wii or buy a whole GameCube or a whole Nintendo 64 resale value just so you can authentically play Smash or authentically play A, B, C, D, or E. And that's, that's so silly. That is so stupid. It is 2020. The gaming industry has evolved. I mean, graphics, hardware... Just play styles have evolved. Grow up. Emulation is not illegal. What was that? I digress. Nintendo is out of their minds. And don't get me wrong, I love Nintendo. I am a humongous Nintendo nerd. I have given them, I've funneled them my money for years. But I am very, very critical of the way they've been acting towards people who are you know trying to host smash tournaments or people who are emulating their games I used to emulate ROMs all the time for games like Yoshi's Island Tetris um, I had Cubivore survival of the fittest um, on my computer and I would play that very very often because it's a game that while it isn't very common I grew up playing it and I loved it and the only way that I could play it was if I rented it from a video store or a video game store of some kind like, you know back in the day how you could rent movies from an actual store? I could rent Cubivore from a video store just down the road from my house. And that's what I would spend all my time doing is playing Cubivore. And I had it emulated on my computer. I had a GameCube ROM and a GameCube emulator. And I would play that. And thanks to Nintendo that, you know, they've made it, they've made it a lot freaking harder to do that. And it sucks. Because while it isn't illegal, they see that as like using or taking Nintendo's intellectual property or IP and using it for someone else's own personal gain when they use it in tournaments. Like, Nintendo will outright sue and have outright sued ROM distributors. And I think that is so silly. That is so ridiculous. You want people to enjoy your games in 2020? Then let them enjoy games. Because not a lot of people still have functional devices like they used to. Not a lot of people have functional Wii's, GameCube's, Nintendo 64's to play the original Smash 64, Smash Melee, Smash Brawl, whatever. Whatever the case may be. Not everybody has that. And definitely not everybody has access to stuff like uh, Smash for DS, Smash on the Switch, Smash on the Wii U. You know, I don't know, I digress. Also, I'm not going to sit here and claim to be a know-it-all about freaking, I guess, intellectual property or copyright infringement or theft of any kind of someone else's work. But I know damn well emulation is not that, and I know damn well that these people that were just trying to host a Smash tour tournament were not... That was not their goal. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Smash tournaments happen all over the globe constantly. What's the difference in this one other than the freaking Slippy mod? They're not adjusting or trying to take your content or your IPs. Forgive me for being critical, but Jesus. That's a big fallow deer. How long has it been since you were in the area, though? <gasps> oh, shit. I kind of want to follow you and see where you go. I will absolutely come back to the rabbits here in a minute. But I want to uh, see this guy for myself. Because I don't know what this guy could be. He could be a big three. Or he could be a four. Or this could be max weight. Because I don't know very much about the fallow deer as it is. Whoa. Yeah, we got him. No, he wasn't what I thought he would be. I ex totally expected a diamond. But you know what? He's massive anyway. Look at those. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm taking a picture of you. Yeah. 
218. Oh my god. <laughs> He's simply ginormous. Gee whiz. And I about messed that shot up too out of panic. Thanks, I'll absolutely keep him. So for the better part of the next 15 minutes, I want to say, that I have left in this footage, um, I ran around doing absolutely nothing. I didn't kill anything else. Um, unfortunately, the burrows that I had located on my PlayStation were not on my Hirschfelden map. Like I thought they would be. Um, it's very, very interesting to me how the burrows and the rabbits spawn are so different compared to the other rabbits but yet so similar Espe well, and well, especially with the way the dead. burrows and the rabbits spawn differently on like people's maps i have two completely different hirschfelden maps with two completely different ways of locating the rabbits and someone else may have a completely different location for the burrows or someone else might have a completely uh, different map than my, mine. Uh, have, have, I might uh, have more burrows than person A. Talk. Person A might have more burrows than person B. Well, she's so dead from so anything forth. important. It's a very interesting approach that Expansive Worlds dead. has taken to the rabbits. The models look really good. Um, the execution of this addition to Hirschfelden was really, really, I think, great, to be honest. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun uh, p uh, pinpointing more burrows later on. This is back where we started. Okay, then. Well, that kind of sucks. We kind of just looped around. But, I digress. I've shown you a couple of locations for your burrows. If I can find them again. <laughs> there's one right here. There's one right here. There's one right here. One right here. There's one right there. There's one right there. And there's one right there. And there are plenty more in this region that I haven't even got to yet. But if you've stuck around this long, thank you so, so much for being here with me. It's a pleasure playing this game with you and helping others find their locations for their burrows or their warrens. Um, if you like Call of the Wild or like what you've seen, Hit like, subscribe if you want, ring the dinner bell for uh, notifications the next time I go live, the next upload. And with that, thanks again for watching, and I will definitely see you next time.